Hello, welcome to the channel. <laughs> I'm Justine Warnish. <sighs> These are my beautiful daughters, two out of the three. And on today's video, I'm going to be redecorating their room. This, um, this is their room that we're in right now. This is Lux, that's Blaze. She is about 18 months and she's two. And they're, yeah, that's you. They are going to be sharing a room. So I have like the pretty, pretty much like the bones of doing their room already. But I just want to show you guys the behind the scenes, all of the details, and how um, I put everything together. So, first tip for this video in the girls' room would be finding this is the tip or this is like the thing for any room is finding the statement pieces or like the really big pieces for the space and getting those nailed down and then you work around all of those other things i'm going to give you guys a tour of the room as is i ordered a little nightstand and a rug for their room already you guys know how i feel about rugs and if you don't i love them they make a whole entire space. They center a space. That's a whole, look, I love rugs. Um, so I got their rug in. I'm gonna bring that in here. And yeah, just show y'all what we're working with, show you where I am in the process. This, I'm not gonna have everything finished today, but I just wanna show you even what a huge difference that a rug makes in the room and then all the little pieces that I have and connect all of the dots for you guys as far as design goes. So let's get to it. I'm gonna show you their room right now. Okay, so here is their room. Real life mess and all, but it's not made. These are the gorgeous, gorgeous headboards that I was talking about. There's one over here behind the crib. I'm gonna be taking down the crib. This is a great example of what I'm going to do here as far as reselling goes. This crib is great, in great condition, so I'm gonna post that and I'm gonna sell it. This is a nightstand that I ordered. This is not secondhand, but I've been watching this nightstand. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I've been watching this nightstand for a few months. It's been on back order, it's been sold out, and then on Black Friday, it was on sale for 20% off. So I took the plunge because it's it was I just needed it. Now here is their little play area. It's a mess because they've been playing. Now mind you, I've just been throwing everything in this room until I'm ready to put everything together. So I'm gonna bring in their new rug that goes right here in between their beds and just start decorating with what I have. And then from that point, figure out what else I need. But as I said, starting with rugs first is always the way to go. Children are a blessing. Children are a blessing. Do you like doing that? I am going to clear out the floor, move the stuff out of the way, and I'm going to roll out this rug. I have also been watching. This rug is not second hand, it's brand new, but I have been watching it as well for months and months. And I also bought it on Black Friday. So I created a mood board several months back and have just been waiting for to purchase this nightstand and this rug. So that's another way to do it. Watch the things that you want, guys. Watch them for a while, be patient, and then when they go on sale, jump on it. I love my children. I really, really do. I really do. They're just keep everything so fun. What are you doing in there? You are just silly. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty, but I 
just want to show y'all what it looks like. Okay, let's see. Hi, Lexi, you little ballerina girl. What are you doing? Here it is. It is so pretty. It is so, so soft and cozy too. Has some really, really awesome texture. Super cozy, which is what I want. I love having cozy rugs on the floor. You, you work in place? Okay. I love having cozy rugs on the floor because I want it to feel inviting and welcoming for them to be able to sit and play on. So this is perfect, right? It's perfect. Is it perfect? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you like it, please? You like your rug? Don't take. It's not kind. Hi, sweet girl. I created a mood board with like the rug, the headboards, their blankets, just a few different things in here and it look it all looks so great together. So I have no doubt about that. And so this is the fun part is getting to like rearrange the whole room and figure out like in this room, the shape, the size, everything, how everything best fits and works together. And so honestly, I don't just immediately bam, 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 like know for sure. I just get in here and I play with things. And for me, that's the really fun part. You can't go wrong nothing is permanent and so just try it try it out try different things put things in different places and that's how i land on like the best case scenario is if i try it in different places and be like you know what this one actually looked the best and that way for myself i don't have to wonder would this have looked better um because i would be that person that it would drive me crazy until i did it and i saw it and i was like no this one actually worked best so, this is the print. Like, this is, I am obsessed with this. They got them comforters and this pillowcase, and these are from Loomwell. Like, it's gonna be any louder. Um, I originally wanted this wallpaper in here, but we are in a rental, first of all. And second of all, it was ridiculous, ridiculously expensive. It would have been like $500 just to do this back wall. Way out of my budget, not smart for a rental. So I opted for the cheaper way and to still get this print in this room with the comforters. So I love that website because there's so many options. They have the wallpaper, they have um, crib sheets, they have comforters. So really like you can find any of their really cute prints. And if you can buy the wallpaper, that's amazing. If you can only buy like a sheet, that's amazing. But these really are just like so cute. And they're helping me make my statement in this room. I really, really, really wanted this print in here. So. This is one of those statement pieces that I like to talk about a lot was this print. It's so good. Right now we have Lux's old crib in here and it's really like throwing off my vibes aesthetically. And I'm also trying to decide if I should keep her in a crib or not, but that's a whole nother story. It's been a few days since I've last been in here and I've been brainstorming yeah. ideas and trying to figure out what I want to do. I have decided to keep the crib in here for now. So I am just going to play around with the room. No, 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 no. I'm going to play around with the room and just try different options. I actually thoroughly enjoy this. It's therapeutic. This room is just driving me crazy and I want to be real with y'all and show you guys that that happens to me too and so I'm just I'm gonna get back in here I was gonna leave it alone for a few days I rearranged it a little bit but I just don't like it so I'm gonna rearrange again and again and again and again until I figure out how I want it so here we go rearranging again taking a deep breath and knowing that it's going to be beautiful in the end 
and that's what matters right i slept on it i went ahead and i rearranged everything last night this is like the third setup that i tried and i i think it, that's it i really wanted to thrift some wall decorations and again i couldn't find anything so i ordered stuff this morning and now i can't wait for it to come in i think once i start like decorating and getting things on the wall that it's really gonna make all the difference hi yeah let me think about it give me one minute okay one minute so i went and i picked up the box spring this morning and never underestimate a minivan That's good. Are you telling them what we decided to do? Yeah. Yeah. So I have either lost it or found it. Um. So after the whole box spring incident, I'm just like so frustrated and I'm so. I got on Marketplace and there was this cutest, like the cutest little Ikea white bed. I know y'all all probably have seen it or know what I'm talking about, but it's an extendable bed. It's like white metal. It's super cute, super whimsical and girly. So I just decided instead of spending any more money like on another box spring and not even like I'm not totally in love with it here in her room I am going a totally different direction and I am going to buy that white metal bed so we haven't been in here we've had like Christmas since I've been in here I want to show you guys all the little things that I ordered the little tiny details that are just gonna make this room feel so cute so first let's see what do I want to start with I'll start with prints I ordered I've ordered two prints off of Etsy so they have like where you're able to just like download a digital print and then I get all of my prints printed at Walgreens and they come out amazing so um we have this it's so cute it says babe cave and then we have this one little rainbow these are just like the colors that I'm going for in this room um this I'm most excited about I feel like I'm going to start with this and hang this first and then figure out where I'm going to hang all the other decor pieces. But this is, it's hard to see, but it hangs above the bed. It's a little canopy and it's so cute. It's such a good color. I feel like it's going to make this room look so girly and dreamy and magical um, which is what I want. I want their room to just feel so magical. Um, so I bought that then I found this little rainbow on Amazon so cute just little detail and then um, we have this little macrame I'm so excited about this it is so cute um, so I have this and these are like the colors that I'm going for in her room so this was perfect like these are the colors that are in here um, and the colors that I just really wanted to pop. So I found this and I was like, this is perfect. So I'm gonna use that. And then I have a couple of little like hanging things and a couple different mirrors I wanna try out. But those are just like all the details that I wanted to show you guys. The details matter. They make the room just like come together. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to show y'all. I just want to take a moment. I am so excited to be decorating. Decorating is my passion. It's my release. Like, oh my goodness, it has been a stressful season for everybody, but the holidays, ugh, the holidays are hard. I know all of y'all know that. My whole house is like in shambles and I just want to get it together. And this is like my outlet is getting to decorate. So I'm so excited to make this space beautiful and functional for my girls and like I said I'm going to show y'all what it looks like right now without like all the little details so I have to show y'all something that kind of like changed the layout this always happens every room I decorate I thrift or find something that kind of just changes everything um 
I found the cutest well my sister found it for me so shout out but um the cutest little arched wicker shelf for their room so perfect so that kind of changed things and I want to show you all that so let me give you a nice little before of like where we are so this is going to be the little play area over here and then like all my decor and places bed I have this in between their beds and then I actually had this white crib at my mom's house um, already and so I just switched out the white crib or the like raw natural crib that we had with the white one I felt like it just fit in here so this is it this is all the walls the walls are all pretty much bare I'm obviously thinking of hanging that mirror right there um, yeah so let's get decorating to show you so without further ado here it is so that you can be notified when my videos release. I release them once a week on Wednesdays. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us some comments. Tell us what you think about this room. And make sure you're subscribed. We will see you guys next week. Bye.